Ladies and gentlemen, today I wanted to address a concern that I had and an issue that I had upgrading my PS4 hard drive. Now, whether you're reinstalling system software, initializing the PS4, or even upgrading to a bigger hard drive, you may experience this issue. I'm going to be going through this tutorial in its entirety to make sure that you guys don't experience the same thing as me. So, if you guys go in, try to do it and you get this error code CE-30774-1 or any other error code at that matter first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your USB hard drive that you're using to uh, use the system uh, software update is formatted to file system EFAT that's very important so make sure it's formatted next we're on the PlayStation website I will link you to this in the video description इन्फो प्लेस देखने वाले तमाम दोस्तों को खुश आमदीद अगर आप हमारे चैनल पर नए हैं तो अभी सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकॉन दबाना ना भूलें ताकि आपको आने वाली हर वीडियो से मुतालिक मालूम मिलती रहे The first link that you see, you don't want to download it. Um, instead, you're going to want to make sure that you download the link that is under perform a new installation of system software. Which you guys are seeing right here make sure you guys do that because that's very important let's go ahead and take a look at the file so the one i told you not to download is under 300 megabytes the one i'm pointing at right now do not download that one <laughs> this is the one you want to download i downloaded it twice um, by accident but i wanted to show you guys for video purposes um it actually renamed the the file to one uh, so that's a mistake right there. But also, I've noticed when you save this onto your PS4, there might be a space in between update and the dot. Uh, you're going to want to fix that. So uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is create a new folder. Rename the new folder to PS4. Once you create that new folder, click on it, go into it, and then you're going to want to create a subfolder and uh, just go to new create a new subfolder and then this time you're going to name it update now all caps is preferable it's going to make it uh, recognize it even faster now you're going to want to drag the updated file into the update folder and I uh, wanted to show you guys this as well because when I went to check as you guys can see there's a space in between update and dot so I'm going to fix that correct that and we'll be good to go there's nothing else that you guys need to do if you guys are experiencing issues it's probably because the file is not named correctly now all you're going to want to do is once you've put that on your USB drive pop it into your PS4 Go back into safe mode if you guys don't know how to go into safe mode you hold down the power button um, until it turns on and then once it turns on continue holding it for another seven seconds you'll hear another beep once you do that you'll be in safe mode once you're in safe mode on your ps4 then you're going to want to wait for it to come up just like it is right here and then you're going to want to select yes that you selected yes on that on the safe mode then your initializing will begin now this process doesn't take too long um, it actually goes pretty quickly you'll be done with this process in about five to ten minutes just depending um, and that's it the main issues are of course number one if your USB drive is not being recognized you want to make sure you format it to EFAT or FAT um, for the file system second thing you want to do is make sure that you have the right file downloaded from the PlayStation uh, website uh, which is over 800 megabytes um, and is close to 900 megabytes um, once you download that file you're gonna want to make sure uh, I just want to clarify everything you're gonna want to make sure that there's no spaces in between there's no added numbers or anything else um, it's going to read straight through just like you saw it on the screen. You're going to want to create a new folder with PS4. You're going to want to create a subfolder with update. And then you're going to want to put that update file in the update folder. And then drag the PS4 folder over into your already formatted USB. Once you have that USB, then you're going to want to pop that baby right into your PS4. Go into safe mode 
and it will work. Um, if you guys have any problems or have run into any issues, definitely hit me up in the comment section below. You guys can also reach me on Facebook and Twitter. I'm a little bit more accessible on Twitter because I pretty much live on Twitter all day long so if you guys have a question or anything dm me if you guys don't have twitter that's okay hit me up on facebook uh through messenger or you guys can even hit me up in the comment section below uh, i'll be reading through the comments and i'll be addressing uh, your guys's concerns as needed now you will need to download the system software if you're upgrading your playstation 4 um, that's just mandatory okay so even though you back up your ps4 and all that's good you're still gonna need to download this file to proceed um, so I just wanted to make that perfectly clear as well as always you guys are freaking awesome